So in Pattonville, we use a managed Apple ID or iCloud account from Apple to back up all of our devices. The way to make sure that you're signed into that is by simply clicking on the Apple in the upper left hand corner and pulling down to system settings on the Mac. And at the upper left hand corner, you should see your name and clicking on that should show you an Apple ID that ends in at appleid.psdr3.org. This is your district's managed Apple ID, which gives you 200 gigabytes of space in order to back up your uh, devices. Uh, make sure it has the Apple ID portion in it. If it's an at psdr3.org, that is a personal account. Uh, even though you may have used your school email address, that is not an official uh, district managed Apple ID. Now, the problem with a managed Apple ID is it doesn't let you make purchases. So if I wanted to be able to download an app onto my device from the App Store, uh, whether it be a free app or a paid app, it's still considered a purchase. So in order for that to work, what I need to do is I can open up the App Store by clicking on the Apple and pulling down to the App Store. And under the Store menu at the top, I may either have to sign in or I may simply have to tell it to sign out first and then go ahead and sign in again. And this is where you can sign in with not your managed Apple ID, but your personal Apple ID that you may use on your phone or you may have created to download apps. Once you've signed into this, this will keep just the store signed in to your personal Apple ID to be able to download uh, apps and install them in your device. But your system preferences or system setting Apple ID is going to still be set to the managed one so that your device still backs up. Now from the iPad side, we're going to do the exact same thing. So when I open up the settings app on my iPad and simply tap on my name in the upper left hand corner, I want to verify that again, this is my managed Apple ID. That means this will be backing up my device to my 200 gigabytes of iCloud storage space. But if I want to be able to purchase an application on my iPad, I don't want to log out of that account. What I want to do is simply go into the App Store and tap on my name in the upper right hand corner and tell it to sign out. Now that I'm signed out, I can go ahead and tap on Apple ID and sign in with my personal Apple ID again, which again will only affect the App Store, not affect the backing up of my device. And again, it, this will then allow you to make purchases or download apps on your device, uh, whether they be free or paid.